A parking lot in Scottsdale has been transformed into a tennis court for the first ever Scottsdale Tennis Weekend. Mm. It is all happening near Scottsdale Fashion Square, and that is where Team 12's Trisha Hendricks is this morning. Trisha? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Go on. Good morning, Go guys. On. I really feel the part because check, check it out, you guys. Hey, hey, look at this. It's a giant tennis racket. I was trying to swing a little bit earlier, but I don't have anything on these guys. They're former U of A tennis players. Joining us live this morning, Mike Bauer, and you, you're taking on a whole new look here. That's right. You know, I'm getting excited. I'm getting ready for Yacht Rock tonight. We have <laughs> Yachtly crew performing at 6, but until then, it's going to be all about ASU, U of A, even some GCU players coming out to play tennis. Right now, we have Ryan Johnson and Henrik Wagner. They're out there, both former I'm a Sun Devil, so both former Wildcats yeah, out there. Uh, but yeah, that's what today's all here. about. Exactly. And they're warming up here, showing us what they've got. This is just a taste of what they're going to get uh, today through Sunday. So today it's all about College Day, right? That's right. It's all about the college atmosphere. And then also tonight is our first in our concert series. So tonight our Sun Set, right? Tennis Set. Our Sun Set concert is going to be Yachtly Crew. Tomorrow night we have Grammy winning legendary DJ Paul Oakenfold. He's going to be closing it down. And, uh, uh, you know, not most te most tennis courts don't have stages at one end like we do. Yeah. We've got them on both courts, on the main court as well. Right. So if you've come to shop at Scottsdale Fashion Square, it's the parking lot to the north. There's actually a huge dirt lot here, 87,000 square feet that has now transformed into two giant tennis courts. And they even have the DeLorean from Back to the Future. We have National Lampoon Vacation Car, and we have some professional hall with some celebrities as well are going to be here right that's right a lot of celebrities i know that paul bissonette from the coyotes is going to come out tomorrow hopefully uh if you're a hockey fan he doesn't fight anybody because that's what he was really good at when he played but it's all for a great cause as well our benefiting charities learner and road gives back foundation and love pup so it is all for a great cause and we're going to have a lot of fun doing this differently tennis differently it's we're going to get serious like these guys are right now competitive juices will be flowing but also it's scottsdale the drinks will be flowing too. We're going to have fun. This really is a pop up event. Talk about how you guys made this happen really overnight. I mean, you know, you mentioned that it's a dirt lot. As you, you know, as your viewers can see, th there's grass. We brought in turf. We actually had these, uh, these courts were cu uh, custom constructed from Swiss tracks. They were brought in on a giant hauler the other day from California. They're custom built. We have two tennis courts and a pickleball court as well. So it is. it really is a pop-up, and it's all come together in the last few days here at Scottsdale Tennis Week. Tickets available online right now at scottsdaletennisweek.com. Okay, we're looking forward to it. You're gonna have a great turnout. And check it out, you guys. Just when you pan the camera around, this is really unbelievable. I like to come to Fashion Square to shop, and this is not what it usually looks like. We have the beautiful Camelback Mountain in the backdrop. It's gonna be a great time for fun, music, tennis, well, all things tennis. And hey, maybe you can even get a picture with one of these giant tennis rackets. <laughs> Back to you guys. <laughs> Trisha, what a natural. Look at you.